right, so what is structure? Structure is a position at the top of the golf swing where certain players look like this, like this, up higher, really flat, arms low, club across the line, club really laid off, wrist really flexed, wrist really extended, a lot of width, no width, a lot of arm fold. There's a lot of different structures that you're gonna see on the PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, any tour, or just down the driving range, you're gonna see structures that are not optimal to play good golf. And then you're gonna see structures that just allow you to just pivot through the ball without thinking, okay? So I'm gonna show you why number one it's important, is what is it, that's the structure, why is it important to me is because if I get, let me see the club first Johnny, if I get up into a position where I feel like I can't come down, I have to recreate my body position. Now my low point or my contact's gonna be bad because I tried to get the club back inside with using the pivot the wrong way because I was not ready. Or you see a player like way in here and their shoulders are way off, they have to recreate something to make contact, okay? So when I set somebody up into a pivot or into a structure up top, it's optimal for them to just use, the, once they get in this position, they can just pivot and rotate through the ball. So when I say pivot, pivot means a lot of things to people. Some people say it's rotation. To me, it's pressure. How, where my pressure's at when I pivot? Is it on the left? Is it on the right? Where's my rotation? Where's the extension flexion of my hips, knees, and spine? How tilted is my pelvis? Where, how tilted are my shoulders? How open am I at impact? How are all these things working a lot easier when my structure is in a proper position? So Johnny's gonna come over, we're gonna demonstrate structure, and we usually do this in the mirror. We're gonna show you how we do it in the mirror too. So first thing is, is Leo, let's do, do me a favor and get me a G-snap. And then also, one more here, I want you to get me a stick too, please. And just throw me the G-snap, thank you. So we use a G-snap for our structure and get me a balloon too. And we're gonna show you how we teach structure and how easy it is from this structure, okay? So we're gonna put this on the side of the shaft to show you. We're gonna put this in the arms. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take you to the top of the golf swing, go to the top. And... Okay, now he got there in a certain position. Now, the thing that I first off I look at is one, I'm gonna grab this right now and say his left arm is on his shoulder line. So I'm gonna show you right now, put your arms across your chest so they know what we're talking about and bring the club up. Now, this shoulder is going at a right angle to his back line. See that right there? Let's do it again on the front view now. So I get over here and I make sure that that's a right, not to his spine, because his spine's rounded to the middle of his back. His shoulders are gonna rotate right on that angle, okay? And when you put the stick on, put it on the right position, put it on the wrong position now, a little tilted. And you do it, now it's gonna look a lot different, okay? So go ahead and put it on the right position. Shoulders go at a right angle to spine. Now why that's important is that puts pressure to the glute, pressure more middle front of the foot, so now when he has this tilt, take your tilt out, he has to go recreate tilts, okay? Most people are gonna come over the top when they do that. So set up again. So once he gets in that setup, it's very easy. Now he's gonna put that left arm up. Go up top again and put your, go do that same thing. Now put your left arm up on your shoulder line. So right about that, that's above his shoulder line. That's below his shoulder line. And we're gonna go through those right now and show you how I teach structure, okay? So go ahead and hold one of these, please. And once he takes it first, just take it a first parallel, okay? Then what we have him do is shut the face because when he shuts it and gets his arms in front, that face is now square to his back line. Now do it one more time where it's square, square to the back line. Nope, don't close it yet. Start from start. Go to first parallel and get it square. Okay, now don't close it and come back and get your arm in front. Where's that face at now? It's open. So we close it after second parallel. So set up again and you don't have to, we can close it all different positions. So we close it right here and point this right at ball line. So that shaft is pointing right at ball line, not way in, it can be in, it can be way over here. We do a lot of different things, but this is a very basic one. Now go up top and we're gonna show you where the structure comes. So now his left arm is on his shoulder line. When he turns back, this right arm is parallel to the ground, this forms parallel to his spine. Now this shaft right here could be over here or it could be over here 
we get it in line with the lower part of the forearm there, okay? And that all is in line. Now, if we looked at where this is pointing, this is pointing at ball line, that green line right there all the way down. And if he wanted to take it longer, he could go all the way to parallel, okay? Now this would be parallel with it if he took it all the way top. But that is the structure we teach. Now, take it one more time to the ball, to the top. Now, let's take this stick out. Now, if you watch Johnny take the structure up to the top, and we'll put it on a, Normal lie, go ahead and take one up top and don't hit it. Okay, so that's a good takeaway. Now, do that one more time, Johnny, and take your normal takeaway, a little more vert and stop right there and keep going. So his is inside ball line there and then he moves it out to online, okay? That's what he does, I'm okay with that. But if you looked at most players, they're taking it on what we call the plane line, okay? Now do it your way, but get your structure the way we want it and go up top and freeze and go and hit one. Good. So do it again, that was awesome. One more. Go up top again, now hit it. Good, okay. So now that you look at that, his structure's in a good position for him to just unwind, okay? If the face isn't there, let's go up top and don't flex it here. Go to the top and don't flex the wrist and go all the way top where it's more cupped. Okay, now if he started to rotate open, rotate, 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 that face is gonna be so open that he can't rotate, he's gonna slow down, okay? All right, Johnny, so go to the top again and freeze. Yep, go ahead and freeze up top. Good structure, hit it. Good, beautiful. Okay, now that you understand that that structure is in a position where the left arms parallel the back are on the shoulder line, Okay, and your shoulders are going at a right angle to your back line. That's in that position. This arm is parallel to the ground. This is parallel here. My humerus here, right here, and my actual forearm are at like a neutral position. So this is a neutral position. So it's not back here, it's here. My left arm is adducted up against or smashed up against my chest. And it's not smashed this way, smashed in this position. My forearms are turned in a position where I have the chance with the flexion up top that I can just rotate through it. Now, if you don't flex it, that's okay. So do one last thing real quick, Johnny. If you're like, I don't wanna flex it because I have a strong grip, that's fine. I want you to understand that that was just the way I teach it, okay? So if I have a player that has a neutral grip and they don't flex it, go up top. Okay, now you can start to flex it down early or you can start to do it by parallel right there, okay? face is still square by the bottom. So you don't have to flex it at P3, which is left arm parallel here. You can do it in all different places, okay? But the way I teach it is makes it a lot easier for my normal players to get up in that position and just pivot through the shot with no thought, okay? Then if something's off on the pivot, I can reorganize how they're rotating or how they're tilting through the ball, how their handle is, and adjust. So most players with this structure up top and they've been doing this through the ball. Let me have this. They've been doing this because their face was open and they start doing this stuff through the ball. Then I get them in this new cool structure where it's flexed and they're, they're, they're happy with it and then they come through with their old release. It's gonna go left. So you gotta match it up with learning to pivot through the shot and we'll show you how to do that. But these are all what we call matchups. If you get a better structure, you can use your body without thinking and make it a lot easier on yourself in the long run. If you guys are looking for more tips or more information about the golf swing, I've got lots more on George Gankis Golf. Click the link in the description and you'll have all the info you could ever need.